Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip Tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to quickly add your agent photo to Matrix. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now there's actually a couple of different approaches to adding an agent photo in Matrix. The first is for internal use only, where only other members who run a roster search will be able to view your image. The second reason you may want to add your photo is to personalize any of the branding sent to customers or prospects outside of Matrix. For this tutorial, we're going to cover both options, and we're going to begin by first adding our agent photo in the input section. And again, this is the image that only those who have access to Matrix can see. Next, I'm going to add my agent ID to the roster section, then click edit. And from here, I'm going to click manage photos, then select one or more images with the recommended dimensions to open from my hard drive. All right, with the primary photo in place, click save to set this as the default image that shows whenever a member pulls up your agent information within Matrix. All right, so in the second part, this time, I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to add your photo to branding sent to customers or prospects outside of Matrix. To begin, simply access the My Information section in My Matrix, then click Header and Footer. And from the Branding Configuration page, I'm going to choose to use a custom photo, then select an image to save from my hard drive. All right, so with my new image now added to the system, I now have the option of using this photo in other areas such as a CMA cover sheet, as part of an email signature, or included in the profile section of my client's portal. All right, well this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.